the heart of the tar sands, the new frontier of climate destruction to shut down this large oil sands mining project. We're taking this action to stop a global climate crime and to push President Obama and Prime Minister Harper to say no to the tar sands because real climate leaders don't buy tar sands. The tar sands are the largest industrial project on the face of the planet. By 2020, they'll emit more emissions than the entire Czech Republic, twice as much as Peru, and over 10 times that of Costa Rica. When we're in a global climate crisis, when over 300,000 people will die this year because of climate change, a million more uh, will become climate refugees. A project like this simply can't go on. The tar sands are the poster child for climate destruction. They're set to displace an area larger than England. This is a toxic industry, and the only future that it's gonna lead us to is a toxic one for the next generation. What we need now is more real climate leaders. We want them to say no to the tar sands and yes to a green energy future. standing on the shores of the Athabasca River in northern Alberta, Canada. This is climate change hell. This is the shores of climate change hell. Over 40 million tons of greenhouse gases are emitted annually on the production side of the tar sand. We are here to send a very clear message to world leaders. We need action on climate change in Copenhagen this December. We're here at the site of Suncor's tar sand uh, facility, upgrader and mine, just north of Fort McMurray in Alberta, Canada. We're taking action today to put the brakes on catastrophic climate change. The message we want to send today through our actions is that real climate leaders don't buy tar sands. When I say climate, you say criminal! Climate! Criminal! Climate! Criminal! At the moment we have a team of activists presently locked onto conveyor facility where they mine out this bitumen which they then pump through the pipes and the bridge uh, above me to this hideous monstrosity that you see behind me. The process itself generates an enormous amount of carbon dioxide. It has the potential to become one of Canada's greatest sources of carbon dioxide in the coming years. This river uh, is actually a heritage river in Canada. It's known for its beauty, its history and the importance it was in developing the country. Currently in the tar sands, over 11 million litres a day of toxic water leaks into the Athabasca River Basin. For me, this is also a bit of a personal issue. I've been involved with Greenpeace now for over 12 years. And my very first engagement with Greenpeace was against this very same company, just 100 kilometres south of my hometown in Australia. They began the development there uh, approximately 11 years ago, but through a combination of Greenpeace's campaigning and climate leadership shown by local politicians in Australia, they were unable to successfully convince the Australian people that they needed to exploit this resource. So for me, I've come to bring not only the message from Greenpeace, but the message from myself as well, that this is it, it's got to stop. We cannot continue with this madness if we're to avoid catastrophic climate change. currently in northern Alberta in what locals refer to as Cancer Alley, which is in Fort Saskatchewan, which is an upgrader alley. Uh, as you can see behind me, there's an expansion and we are here to expose the climate crime for what it is. I'm here on top of a chimney stack under construction in Shell's new uh, upgraded facility expansion here just north of Fort Saskatchewan uh, in Alberta province. We're uh, just ending the first day of our occupation of this facility in a protest and taking action to prevent the further construction of this facility to uh, send a clear and strong message to world leaders 
who are, should attend Copenhagen in December this year, that they need to take firm and decisive action on climate change, that they need to stop projects like the tar sands, that they need to commit to binding agreements to reduce carbon dioxide emissions before it's too late.